convex lens image formation and magnification aim to study the image formation by a convex lens using a lighted candle placed at different positions materials required thin convex lens a lens holder a semi transparent screen fixed to a stand a meter scale a small scale of 15 cm a lighter a small candle with a stand procedure as a first step let us find the approximate focal length of the given lens take a thin convex lens place it vertically on a lens holder kept on a table to determine the approximate focal length of the convex lens focus rays from a distant object for example a tree using a convex lens and obtain an image of the object on a screen placed on the other side of the lens move the screen back and forth to obtain a sharp and clear image measure this distance between the screen and the lens as the approximate focal length of the lens f let it be 15 cm now let us study the nature position and relative size of the image formed by a convex lens for various positions of the lighted candle mark the points f1 2f1 f2 and 2f2 on either side of the convex lens since the focal length obtained is 15 cm we get twice the focal length as 30 cm we will study the image formation of a convex lens with reference to these points the five different cases are case 1 object beyond 2f1 case 2 object at 2f1 case 3 object between f1 and 2f1 case 4 object at f1 case 5 object between f1 and optical center of the lens o note that for obtaining distinct and sharp images of the candle flame it is advised to perform this experiment in a dark room or at least in the shade where no direct light reaches the working table light a candle using a lighter place the lighted candle on one side of the lens The flame in this lighted candle will act as the object in the following steps. Perform this experiment in calm air to avoid the flickering of the candle flame. Switch off the fan while performing this experiment. Make sure the flame does not flicker and maintains its height h. The optical center of the lens and the center of the candle flame should lie at the same height. Measure the height of the candle flame h. using a small measuring scale let it be 2 cm case 1 object beyond 2f1 choose the distance between the candle flame and optical center of the lens to be greater than twice the approximate focal length 2f obtained for the convex lens record this distance as object distance u in the observation table let us take u as 40 cm Move the screen placed on the other side of the lens and obtain a sharp image of the flame on the screen. Here we get a sharp image when the screen is 24 cm away from the lens. This distance between the lens and the screen is taken as image distance v. Record this in the observation table. Let us visualize this using a ray diagram. Observe the principal axis passing through the optical center of the convex lens. A parallel ray coming from the top of the flame marked as A will pass through the focal length f2 of the lens. Another ray from the same point A will pass through the optical center without deviation. An inverted image of the flame is formed between points A dash where these rays intersect and point b dash on the principal axis the image lies between f2 and 2f2 observe the distances obtained 
measure the height h dash of the flame in the image obtained on the screen using a small scale let it be 1.2 cm the ratio of the height of the image to that of the object is noted as the magnification m m is equal to 0.6 in this case notice that the image is real inverted and diminished record the observations in a table case 2 object at 2f1 since point 2f1 is at a distance of 30 cm from the lens our object distance equals 30 cm place the candle at 2f1 adjust the position of the screen to obtain a sharp image notice that the image will be formed at 2f2 30 cm away from the lens let us visualize this with the ray diagram notice position of the object and image measure the height h dash of the flame in the image obtained on the screen using a small scale it will be 2 cm note down the magnification m which is equal to 1 the image formed is real inverted and of the same size as that of the object record the observations in a table case 3 object between f1 and 2f1 we know that f1 is 15 cm and 2f1 is 30 cm away from the lens hence take object distance to be a value between 15 and 30 cm let it be 20 cm place the candle at a distance between f1 and 2f1 20 cm away from the lens adjust the position of the screen to obtain a sharp image it will be obtained at 60 cm notice that the image will be formed beyond 2f2 let us visualize this with the ray diagram notice position of object ab and image a dash b dash measure the height h dash of the flame in the image obtained on the screen using a small scale we get it as 6 cm calculate and note down the magnification m which is equal to 3 a real inverted and enlarged image is obtained in this case record the observations in a table case 4 object at f1 since the point f1 is at a distance of 15 cm from the lens our object distance equals 15 cm place the lighted candle at the focus f1 move the screen back and forth notice that no image will be obtained on the screen remove the screen and observe the highly enlarged but blurred image formed on the wall at the end of the room let us visualize this with the ray diagram notice the parallel rays are formed in this case which does not intersect hence the clear image will be formed only at infinity a real inverted and highly enlarged images obtained in this case record your observation case 5 object between f1 and o as the focal point f1 is 15 cm away from the lens take the object distance to be less than 15 cm let it be 9 cm place the candle at a distance between f1 and o let the object distance be 9 cm move the screen back and forth notice that no image will be obtained on the screen now look at the candle flame through the convex lens and observe the nature of the image note that the image formed is virtual erect and magnified 
Let us visualize this with the ray diagram. Notice that the rays are diverging and will not intersect. Hence, no image will be obtained on the screen. Extend the rays backward. A virtual image will be formed at the point where these rays intersect. This distance can be calculated using the lens formula. Record your observation. Since the image is not obtained on the screen, we cannot directly measure the image distance. Image distance can be calculated using the lens formula. Calculation Use the lens formula with the sign convention. The positive value of magnification obtained using sign convention indicates the image is erect. Record the entire observations in the table. Results A convex lens can form real and virtual images. Real images are inverted, while virtual images are erect. Based on the position of the object, the image formed can be diminished, enlarged or of the same size.